Good evening guys, this is Ramel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we'll be discussing how to apply realistic ascent wall textures in your Dalux Evo projects. This tutorial I'll be dividing into two parts. In the first part I will show you how to get this realistic textures which are seamless. How to accurately use it in your Dalux Evo. And in the second part of this video, I'll be sharing with you some of very useful methods by which you can search the exact material of your render perspective received from interior designer or an architect. Let's get started. Here I have considered a sample project of a room. I have placed some furniture. This furniture I have imported from 3D warehouse. Here is the brick wall texture. How I got this brick wall texture is it's simple. Just go to Google and type brick wall texture. Go to images, tools and size. Select large. Okay, because uh, we need a higher resolution image. That's the reason we are selecting the file size to be large. Now select the image of your choice. Let's say, let me just open this one and this one. You can also select the color of the texture here. Let me choose one with white color and uh, I will choose something this one. Okay, so this is one image. I will save this image, save the other one too. This doesn't look to be a seamless texture so let me go back and select something which is seamless why why i think this is not seamless because uh, if you observe this image this is bright over here and uh, it is dark over the edges so when i download this and apply in the textures i will get this dark lines as effect in dialogue Evo. so that's the reason I'm not selecting this image I'll go to something which is uniformly lit let's just see some more realistic textures like this one we'll save this is also good so I will save this image as well so I'll, now I have downloaded some around four textures of different types of walls now I'll go to textures, create texture material, select the texture, let's select this wall one. Don't make any changes with the reflection factor and reflective coating. Reflective coating anyway walls will not have any reflective coating so it's zero. Reflection factor for now, let it be the same what you have the value when you import it you can adjust it later but when you're applying for the first time let it be as it is then go to apply material and apply the texture okay now this looks proper no need to adjust anything okay let's go and import the other texture create texture material let me select wall to apply material okay now the bricks look too small I need to adjust it scale so what I can do is click on the texture when you click on the texture you can see even the advanced properties and positioning details of the selected texture here in the height you can go and increase the height now it's one meters you can increase it to three meters say it has been increased keep it selected you can then define even the width of the texture okay and escape now your texture is properly applied seamless looks realistic if you need to rotate this texture you can that you can do that too select the texture and rotate it okay for the brick wall no need to rotate it because uh, already the alignment is in proper position but if in case you need to rotate the texture you can give the rotation angle 
by selecting this texture and in the positioning you can define the angle okay now since we have applied this texture let me do a quick calculation and check the output looks nice let's go and do the quick render i will keep it now for full hd and ray trace it this is our ray traced image the texture looks perfect nice looks realistic we'll save this image i also have a previous render with the white wall brick texture this is that render it's 4k uhd render this is with the brick wall red brick wall texture and this is my previous white and red brick wall texture now let's apply one more texture which we have downloaded let me select this one wall 4 apply material now here is the challenge now i need to use the same texture but the texture is not proper so what i will do is i will select the texture i will give its height and width height and width of the texture depends upon the dimension of your wall so measure the wall dimensions before applying the texture okay i know that the height of this room is three meters so i'm going to give the height for this texture as three meters and uh, width of this room is three meters so i'm going to give the width for this texture as three meters i'm not going to give any rotation angle for it now because the rotation angle is proper now see the texture looks perfect save it let's do the quick calculation looks nice let's let me render it set the view ray trace it render is completed and this is a render image with a colorful brick wall and this this too looks really nice i'm going to save this image too i did a calculation and a render for the white texture too the procedure is same apply the texture give the height and width to the texture rotation angle if required and that's it so these are the different renders with it this is with render one render two three and four all are brick wall textures and all this for look realistic nice seamless and no tiled effect so this is a simple step now let's discuss the second part of the tutorial say you receive a render perspective image from an from your interior designer architect or consultant and you need to use similar textures in your dialogues evo project now when you receive the render perspective and you need to use the exact textures then there is one problem as uh, we are not interior designers we are lighting designers we may not know the exact names of those textures and it's okay because each tile has its different name each marble has its different name each color has its own code it's obvious that if you are early into lighting design you may you may not know the name of that material and uh, when you don't know the name of the material finding the similar texture on google is difficult so what you can do is even if you don't know what that texture is called you can easily follow this step to get exact or a similar similar material what you have to do is op open the render perspective image this is my render perspective image then select the snipping tool okay and snip the material you require say i need to use this white marble texture i will snip it select the white marble select as large portion as possible Control c open the clipboard and paste it select Control c go to google image search enter google images select this one search by image and here click here on paste image link and control v and here you can see the different results for 
similar images whichever you find it more proper open that image in the new tab this looks perfect open image and from here you can save that texture this looks exactly similar materials create texture material this is your this is these are the textures we downloaded let's select any one of them apply material and again if you want to adjust the dimensions you can easily adjust the dimensions here and you can also give rotating angle if required so this is how you can search for the textures which easily from the render perspective and if you want to know where you can get textures easily then i have a separate detailed video on textures in this on in this video i have explained how to get textures how to get free textures and how you can make your own seamless textures which you can use not only in dialogues but also in photoshop sketchup and other softwares let's try to search one more material from this render perspective now let me search for this wooden texture so let i will select the snipping tool new and i will snip the portion of the material i need so i'll just snip this much control c open your clipboard clear it control v select this image control c go to google search image and control v see here you have exact texture whichever looks similar open the image in the new tab so here i have some nice textures now let's go to dialogs texture create texture material this is the wood texture i downloaded select apply material and observe this material this is not a seamless material but i can make it seamless by giving it some height okay it's seamless now but i think the width of this wooden rafter is too much so i'm going to select the texture and reduce its width now the width is one meter so which is standard but i will redefine it to be 0.5 or less depending on its thickness when scaled so this looks proper now i will do a quick calculation and render it calculation is completed and let me do a quick render calculation is completed and this looks perfect nice so this is completed and this is my final render so this is how you can search for the materials from the render perspective you received from you received for a project it's super easy by using google image search in both the ways all you need to understand is giving the dimensions to the textures so this is it guys in this video i hope the tutorial was helpful i'll be sharing with you all all the textures which i downloaded that is all this brick wall textures and also this wood and marble texture so you can save it and practice on your own on how to give the proper dimension to the texture after applying it in the dialogs evo so this is it guys in this video if you like this video hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogs with me thank you